Physicist Stephen Hawking once said, the human race's future is in space. This wasn't poetic, he meant it. Our universe is vast, and we're only beginning to understand it. One mission that truly reflects this idea is NASA's Voyager program, which began nearly 50 years ago. It's redefined how we see the cosmos and ourselves. The most distant object humanity ever built is still working. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, reached into stellar space and continues to send signals back to Earth, billions of miles away. Imagine a spacecraft with less computing power than a digital watch, still functioning after 45 years, still talking to us from the edge of our solar system. Its tech is older than cassette players, powered by a 20-watt transmitter, the same as a fridge light bulb. Yet that faint signal beams back valuable scientific data across a frozen notion of space. Each transmission is a whisper from beyond. The Voyager program was born out of a once in 176 years alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. NASA engineer Gary Flandro realized this celestial pattern Gaveta spacecraft slingshot from one planet to the next, using their gravity to gain speed and save time. So, NASA launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 just 15 days apart in 1977. Their initial mission, four years, focused on the gas giants. But what followed changed history. Voyager 1 captured close-ups of Jupiter's great red spot, volcanic eruptions on Io, and Saturn's mesmerizing rings. Voyager 2 ventured further, becoming the only spacecraft to visit Uranus and Neptune. It unveiled ice geysers on Triton, magnetic fields on Uranus, and Neptune's violent weather systems. These discoveries shattered assumptions. Moons were geologically active. Distant planets had atmospheres. The edges of the solar system were far more dynamic than imagined. Even the heliosphere, the protective bubble formed by the Sun, was completely misunderstood until Voyager's data showed otherwise. The spacecraft had only 69 kilobytes of memory. Data was stored on 8-track tape recorders. They navigated space mostly on their own, using minimal software, reacting to asteroid belts and cosmic radiation with stunning success. Eventually, Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space through a boundary known as the Heliopause. On August 25, 2012, this is where the sun's influence ends and the galaxies begins. But things didn't go as expected. Scientists predicted a sharp shift in magnetic fields. Instead, the field direction barely changed. The unexpected result puzzled everyone. Why was there no clear shift? Some scientists suggested the solar and galactic magnetic fields might align more than thought. Others believed the heliopause wasn't a clean line, but a blurry zone that shifts with the solar cycle or interstellar pressures. That meant even basic ideas about the solar system's edge were incomplete. In interstellar space, Voyager 1 detected plasma waves, a sign of increased plasma density, proving it had exited the solar bubble. But the data revealed even more surprises. Plasma density wasn't constant. It changed drastically, showing that interstellar space wasn't calm, it was full of turbulent pockets. Some hot, some cold. Some dense, others thin. This suggested the interstellar medium was shaped by ancient stellar explosions. Some plasma regions might even be remains of long-dead stars floating across the galaxy. Voyager turned space from silent emptiness into a place full of old stories waiting to be understood. Voyager also gave us insights into how solar particles fade and how interstellar particles enter. This helps scientists understand cosmic rays and how winds from other stars might interact with our sun. It's not just space exploration, it's studying the cosmic sea we float in. But Voyager's mission wasn't only scientific. Each spacecraft carries the golden record, a copper disc coated in gold, filled with images, greetings in multiple languages, and Earth's music. 
It even includes a human heartbeat. It's a message to anyone or anything out there. Astrophysicist Carl Sagan, who led the project, said the disk was like tossing a message in a bottle into a vast ocean. The hope in that act still resonates over 14 billion miles from home. Voyager 1's journey continues. Its signals now take more than 22 hours to reach us. Power is fading, but engineers have shut off non-essential systems and rerouted resources to keep it alive. It may continue sending data until at least 2026. This mission isn't just about technology, it's about curiosity. Edward Stone, Voyager's longtime project scientist, said every new data packet makes us question what we know. It stretches the limits of what we believe is possible. Even in recent years, Voyager has kept surprising us. In 2023, it detected a strange, low-frequency hum in the interstellar medium, a type of vibration never observed before. Some believe it's linked to dynamic interstellar winds. Others think it might be evidence of unknown galactic phenomena. Whatever it is, it means the journey isn't over. The Voyager program has inspired generations. It shows we can build machines that endure in the harshest places. We can learn continuously, even when separated by billions of miles. It reminds us of what we're capable of, not just as engineers, but as a species driven by wonder. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.